Hey guys, Supervised Team here. Let's say you have an annotation team and your task is to label huge amounts of data, let's say thousands of images or videos or any modality. But how to manage this process when your team consists of dozens of people of different roles, such as annotators, reviewers, etc. This is exactly what the labeling jobs are made for. Let's see how they work in our platform. First off, we need to have an established team. But if you don't have a team, you can go into the uh, Choose Team page and here you can create a new team. Also, if you need to manage your team's members, like add someone to your team or adjust their role, you need to go to the Start menu go to the team members page and here you may see all of your team members and in the right side you can invite them as i've mentioned you can adjust uh, any role of an, of each uh, member uh, as you can see there are quite a few roles here but in this video i'm going to focus on the main three the three essential roles for annotation, which are manager, reviewer, and annotator. These roles are pretty self-explanatory, but let's walk through all the things that those roles can and cannot do. We're going to start off with manager. Let me log into my Teams manager account. All right, so now I'm in my manager's account and first thing you need to do is to actually create the labeling job itself. To do so, we need to go into the start menu, go into the labeling at scale page, and here it now says no jobs here yet, but we can create one by clicking this button. So here is the job creation page. First off, we need to type in a title for our job. I am satisfied with this one. Also, we can provide our reviewers and annotators with a short description or a readme if you like to, but I'm not going to do so. Next, we need to assign a reviewer and labelers to uh, my job, but I'm fine with the default picks here. Uh, next, we need to select the actual data we need to annotate. Let me do that. Now is the interesting section because here we can adjust uh, different settings for our labelers and reviewers and all the members that are assigned to this job. First off, we need to choose which labeling toolbox is going to be available for our labelers. We can choose either basic or advanced. I will choose basic. Next, we can select or deselect classes that we want to work with. I will only need three classes, so let me uh, choose them. Like that. Also, we can select and deselect different tags. And uh, we can adjust the maximum and minimum uh, tag limits per image and figures limit per image. And here is a specific setting that allows labeler to see uh, only his own figures or all of the figures present on image. It is useful when multiple labelers work on the same data set or even a single image. Also, here is some specific um, settings that I'm not going to cover. Let's go into the image filtering. Here we can split images. Uh, which means that we can include, let's say, images only with tag confidence or exclude images with a uh, certain tag or only include images that uh, have a dark class on them, uh, etc. Also, we can select uh, the group images by tag uh, setting or we can select images manually. I will select images manually. Let's create the labeling job. 
All right, so the labeling job has been created. Uh, here we see um, here we see the name of our job, the users that are uh, currently assigned to this job, the status of the job, and also we can go into the detailed information and statistics uh, of our job. So now let's switch over to the labelers perspective. All right, so here is the labeling job from the labeler's perspective. Uh, to start doing this job, we, can, we need to click those three dots. And here we can click Start Annotation Setting. Uh, here, here we are now in the uh, basic labeling toolbox. And let's annotate those images with bounding boxes. When we are done annotating a certain image, we need to click Confirm button at the top of the screen. Let's actually make a mistake on the last image. As you see, I have misplaced the bounding box. Now let's click Confirm. Uh, and now I can click Submit. It here says that we will submit uh, the job for review and three out of three images were annotated. Let's click OK. And for the labeler, the job is done. Let's head over to the reviewer's uh, point of view. All right, so now I'm a reviewer. And here, as we can see, a couple of buttons have appeared, such as finish job or restart job. To begin reviewing those images, we once again need to click those three dots and click start annotation. And now, instead of, uh, instead of confirm and submit uh, buttons, we have accept and reject buttons. As for this image, it is good, so I can click accept. Same as this one, but this one is labeled incorrectly, so I need to click reject. All right, so let's go back to our labeling job. So what do we do with the incorrectly labeled image? We can click restart job. Uh, as you see, it says send rejected images to re-annotation. Let's click this button. I'll leave it as is we can also assign this job to a uh, different labeler but i'll leave it as is and we also have an option to uh, either create a new job with only rejected uh, entities or uh, or uh, restart the job entirely let's click create now let's log in as labeler once again and here we see that another job has appeared uh, in our labeling jobs page. Let's re-annotate this image. We can actually just correct our bounding box. And click confirm and submit. Now we a reviewer once again. And also we can click reject all annotations button uh, in the three dots instead of reviewing each uh, image individually if you know for a fact that all of the images labeled incorrectly. So let's confirm that this image is okay. And now let's go back. Now we can click finish and our labeling job is complete. It also says how long it took to complete this job. As you can see here, it says 1 minute 20 seconds. Also, we can see the detailed statistics on each job. Let's go into the stats uh, page. And here we see amount of labeled images, uh, overall job duration, editing duration, time and labeling tool, and as well as um, statistics per class or tag and statistics per image. These statistics could be 
uh, seen by manager and reviewer. Reviewer, however, unlike the manager, can not edit the job itself. Also, we can preview our job's image and annotation. The last thing that I want to show is that you could export your activity as a CSV file uh, via this application. And also you could export items after review. And also we have an application that allows for detailed labeling job statistics. Uh, it's called labeling job stats. That is it for this quick video. Leave a like, subscribe and see you in the next one.